My name is Christina and if you're new here, welcome to Christina's Cleaning and Homemaking. And if you've been here before, welcome back. Um, anyone who's new and you haven't subscribed yet, I'd appreciate it if you click subscribe down below. And if you like this video, please be sure to click like below as well. In today's video, I am doing an well unboxing of sorts because it's a product from Amazon and it's a holy water font. Now there are a lot of ecologists who've been talking a lot about the importance of having various items around your house and we have our St. Michael statue and we have actually two Blessed Virgin statues. And it occurred to me that while we have holy water and various containers around the house, we didn't have a holy water font. And so I thought that was kind of important so I went looking and found what I thought was a good deal on one on Amazon. It's very pretty. and. I'm going to put it at my front door so that way whenever we come in the house we can bless ourselves. We'll have a little font there and it's it's a blessing of protection which can be very important these times especially with you know spiritual warfare going on and the things happening in the church and it's also sort of a, a renewal if you will of your um, baptism. Let's see here if I can get this out. It's packing here pretty well. So I'm trying, there we go. So, this is the baptismal font that I got. It has the Holy Family on it. So I'll hold it up here so you can see it better. So it has Mary and Joseph at the top, and then there's the child Jesus right there. And it has this nice little basin that you can see in for the holy water. And then at the back, it has this notch where I can put a screw in the wall and hang it. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put it just to the side of my door so that way there won't be any worry about like vibrations from opening and closing the door, knocking it down, because this is a, a fairly good weight. But um, I'm gonna show you that as well, so the installing it on the wall part. But I'm very excited about this guy. I've been wanting one of these for a really long time, and it occurred to me that I should just go ahead and get one because I have a bottle of holy water in my purse. We have one on the kitchen counter and we have various um, other containers of holy water around the house, but we didn't have a holy water font at our door. And it occurred to me that we really should, so now I have one, and um, I'm gonna take you along as I install that, and I also have some um, pictures that I wanna put up on the wall, sort of in the same theme and with the change of season. Okay, so I've got this now, and I plan to put it right over there, next to the door, aside, of the mirror, pretty much right next to light switches. So you'll probably hear my daughter, she's <clears throat> in her bed right now. I'm trying to get her down for a nap and she's playing with a toy. Meanwhile, I'm gonna try and get this put up over there. I'm thinking. Right about here. That way, it's about level with when you come in. And I plan on using a screw with an anchor to put that in. So I'm gonna get started on that. So now that I framed up roughly where I want, I gotta figure out where I need to put the screw because there's no real easy way to mark it because the hole being in the back. So I just sort of figured out roughly where I thought it should fall. And I hammered the screw that I plan to use into that spot on the wall in order to start the hole for the anchor because there's no stud behind this wall at this spot. So um, I hammered the screw into the wall trying to make it a big enough hole and finally the screw went in pretty well and made a considerable sized hole so I was able to hammer the anchor in and then go back and get the screw and screw that into the wall in order to hang the holy water font. So it went in overall pretty easily. It wasn't really an issue. and I was just using actually um, a screw set up to be a, a wall mirror mount because that's what I could find in our little you know, tool junk drawer. And it hung up rather easily. I just had a, yeah, you see me flipping on the light there to make sure I could see right. So I was just trying to find the, the hole in the back and I screwed the screw in a little bit further because I didn't want the holy water font sticking out a lot from the wall. So I was trying to get the screw in as close to the wall as possible so it could hook into the font and not have like, a gap between the wall and the font that was big because I don't want it to, to 
to get knocked and fall off the wall for the gap of space. Okay, so this is a holy water font and it's working out really nice. And it sits kind of perfectly actually at the entryway to the house. Okay, so I've got the holy water font down and the next thing I want to take care of is something I've been sort of waiting on for a while and that's this. It's a very nice Pledge of Allegiance sign that we hung up sort of in honor of Flint Dry and our daughter's birthday, but it's time to replace that. So now I have this sign here that I picked up at Hobby Lobby on clearance. So this thing was originally like $45 and I got it for $12 because it was on clearance. However, it also has these lovely hooks on it. So not something just in the middle that you could hang up and be done. No. I have to actually measure it out and then put the nails in or I think nails should be okay not need screws for this one otherwise I'd have to anchor it but I think this should be okay with just a nail on either side but because there's two of these this is where I have a little tool here that's going to come in super handy my husband actually picked it up at Pacatans when they were clearancing stuff out it was originally like I think twenty dollars but we got it for five so what I did was is I already set this at the back where the hooks were and set these the distance apart of where the little hook latch things, not sure what I'd call them, but you get the idea. So they're on the back there and I lined these up in relation to that and right there where it levels is where I put for the center. So basically I can hang this up here on the wall, find roughly, now my little daughter's got an opinion on what's going on. So. I can hang this up here on the wall, get it all level based off those bubbles, and at the center of the bubble I know is where I need to put each nail for those hooks. So that's what I'm going to do now. So I've got my hammer, I've got my nails, and now it's just a matter of coordinating all three of these items with two hands to get this hung up on the wall. So I ended up coming to the conclusion that it was easiest to just put the hammer down, take one of the nails, and the level ruler and hang that up on the wall and make the impression a little hole with the nail at each spot and then go ahead and pound it in with the hammer but the first easiest part was really just marking the spots using the level ruler and the nails. Now I'm just getting that second nail in and once I get that in I can grab the, the picture and get that hung up. I have to line up each side with the nails so that was a little trickier than usual but um, yeah, getting the, the little latch to stay upright and then hook it onto the nail and get that hung on the wall and then I wanted to press it in a little bit because I wanted to make sure that the picture was sturdy and, and snug to the wall and not hanging out from it because I didn't want the nail to pull out. So it hung rather nicely and it looked pretty perfect. I'm really glad that we had that level ruler because it framed this up beautifully and now I've got this lovely scripture hanging on my wall. So we've had this holy water font here for a few days now, and I've got to say I love it. It's beautiful. It's right the right height. We have the holy water there, so every time we come home, we can just go ahead and bless ourselves as we come in, and it's a nice addition to the home. I honestly wish that we'd gotten one a lot sooner, but um, you'll see this in a few other things when I do a um, home tour, but um, I do love this holy water font. And there's a lot of beautiful ones out there if you're looking to get one. Um, I'll try and link this one below in the description on Amazon. 
they have quite a few on there, but this one worked out really, really well for our home. So um, I want to thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, please click like down below. And I always appreciate it if you haven't subscribed yet to do that. And I will see you in the next video.